Hi everyone. <laughs> we this is our first time testing it. So before we start talking and say hi, Diana. Hi. <laughs> so Diana here, um, as I'm checking, yes, it is working. We are on live. Hi. So hi everyone. Um, I just want to kind of give you guys a taste of how it was working with me. And Diana here has been a client of mine since May. So I'm a broken Asian. How many months is that, Diana? Oh God, <laughs> if you're a broken Asian, I'm a broken white girl. Like, what is this? <laughs> nine, 10 months? No, nine, nine months. Nine months? Okay. Yeah, nine months. So let me introduce Diana. Diana has multiple businesses. She has three businesses. We were just talking about that. Um, as a nonprofit fundraiser, so uh, we have that background together. A dog trainer. She um, teaches dog trainers. How many dogs do you have again? I have six dogs there's seven living in my house right now but six are mine yeah insane and then she also has a marketing business um and she's married and yeah i don't know how she does it all as well but it's really cool to have diana here what else are your gifts diana uh oh i don't know um my i have a degree in classical music and opera performance so. <laughs> i'm a musician yeah. Um, the artist I was, I was a subway artist. So a lot of you kind of, <laughs> that's how, and I'm in LA. So that's the closest thing to me being an artist. And it was. So my first question is, so tell me why you wanted to work with me. What was the problems and frustrations that were happening in your career at the time? So um, last year I kind of had started a new career and moved into like out of the nonprofit world into higher education. And I really thought that was like where I wanted to be. And I was miserable and it was not the job. The job itself wasn't horrible. It just wasn't the right fit for me. And I, I didn't know that. I just knew I was yeah. not happy. And so I started kind of researching coaches. And then I went to actually a seminar, um, like an online seminar. And Elaine was one of the speakers. And I had been researching coaches. And I was like, really like her. Like, I think I want to do this, like, 30 minute call just to see like if I actually like her and I think I actually committed like in the middle of that call like um, it was just a really good fit and I was looking for someone to help me kind of boost my confidence of like yes I know what I'm doing and I should be you know doing what I'm doing um, and and move into I, I'm back in the nonprofit sector and um, in the arts which is where I wanted to be and I also like never thought of myself as an entrepreneur so like those kinds of things that I I needed more confidence was kind of the bottom line of that. <laughs> and that's insane. Do you, I'm going to brag about you right now. Just this past week alone, she, you closed five clients, right? Yeah. yeah. If I remember. And then got four prospects. <laughs> yeah. With, yeah. New like, out of nowhere prospects too. So yeah. So why did you choose working with me versus other coaches? I know that you were researching. Yeah. I had researched other coaches. I had actually talked to a couple that I just felt like, the conversation with you is really about me and like what I don't know. Like, I think I even like cried in the first <laughs> minutes. I always look around. And I tell my boyfriend, I'm like, all these women cry to me. They pay me to cry, but it's part of the healing. Like, and, and it's like, I don't know. It just like, it was a good connection and it was clear that like you cared about my interests and like what I wanted to do. And it wasn't about like this cookie cutter program. Oh, look, we have a guest. Um, it wasn't about like a cookie cutter program Hi. of, um, Storm says hello. Um, what was <laughs> the program she for? Always has a dog guys, by the way, like uh -huh. I, I'm coaching her and her dogs all the time. <laughs> um, yes, every, all the time. Um, <laughs> it wasn't like a, a, one size fits all type thing. It was really kind of personalized and about me and what do I want to do um, and where do I want to go and how can you help me reach those goals? And that was really kind of what made me say, what made me start. And then obviously I've been a client for nine months, so it's not like, you know. Well, and that's another thing. Why do you continue to invest and work with me? Because that doesn't usually happen. Yeah. So I like when I started, it was really about getting a new job and confidence and things like that. Um, and it's really moved into like, how do I grow my businesses and how do I kind of like I never thought of myself as an entrepreneur or thought of myself as like doing this. And Elena was like, but you run your own business. And I'm like, yeah, but it's just like this thing that I do like for fun on the side. <laughs> um, and so that was kind of that's kind of been a big growing point for me is that I've been growing and learning, you know, different ways to build my business. And even as a marketer, 
I don't market myself well. Like I don't talk about myself well and things like that. And Elaine really helps me kind of set the goals to where I'm going. And um, we do this thing called Steps to Success, which I think is probably one of my favorite things because <laughs> it keeps me accountable to like doing the things each week and like having somebody who kind of can can say, oh, wait, maybe you want to do this this way or, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, I think it's really important and very helpful. So. And I know that you were even considering, just so everybody knows, I work with Diana in, in my Aligned Action Mastermind. In fact, she's gone through all my group programs. Yeah, with, I've been in three different group programs. <laughs> which has evolved. And I know you were even considering doing one-to-one. -one, right. And people get scared. They're like, I want to work with you one-to-one. -one, but what do you love about working in a group and in a community? Well, so I really like in the Aligned Action Mastermind, like we still get some one-to-one -one time, which is what made me kind of like... I was like, yeah, I definitely need that. But I also love being in the group. Um, I think I'm a big advocate now for the group of, I love being in the group and kind of meeting others. And even if our, what we're doing as entrepreneurs isn't the same, but having that kind of supportive um, sisterhood, um, grouphood, I don't know, we don't have any guys in our group, but um, I'm sure that there are some guys. Um, but like that sisterhood of like knowing what the other girls in our group are doing and how can I support them? How can they support me? Um, having extra kind of eyes reading the things that I'm posting, like talking about my business or whatever, it's really helpful. And I think, um, I've made some good friends through the different masterminds, which I think is really cool. And tell everybody wants to know. So what what has been the results for you? I would brag about it, like your raise, clients, any yeah. anything you feel comfortable sharing. Sure. Um, so I um, did get a raise going from one job to the other. I had multiple job offers and I used that as a negotiation point. And so um, it wasn't like some massive raise because I had actually like negotiated a big raise in the previous position that I was in, but it was a $5,000 raise, which is still like something big um, for me. <laughs> um, and then I've really formed actually as of Today, I formed an LLC for my consulting Yay! business and got a business partner. And what's um, the title of it, by the way? I know you've been trying to figure out what the title of your business well, is. What is well, it? My, business, my marketing business is Lee Allen Business Creative. Uh -huh. um, I will file my LLC for my dog training business maybe after this. I haven't decided on a name yet. I've got like a list. So um, I'm going to post it in the group first, actually, to get people's Yay! opinions. Um, so uh, I I filed my LLC for my um, consulting business. My business partner and I kind of have built a business um, out of some of what we're working on. We've really built a business in a clientele and have gotten some pretty big clients that we're really excited about. Um, and we're, it's been really helpful to be able to work together. Um, and then I started my dog training business, which I just kind of started. I graduated in December. One of the things I was hesitant about in joining the mastermind was I was in the middle of a huge dog training program as well as a new job and my house and my dogs and my husband and everything going on. But um, I really think that the coaching is something that helped me stay more organized and stay kind of more focused on what I needed to do for my business and my life. <laughs> and what, so what was it like? I think five pay raise, right? You have three businesses. Yeah. Um, closed five clients this past week, four prospects. Yeah. What, what advice would you give to anyone that's in a fence, in the fence working with me? Or why did you even choose working with me? Um, well, I would say, like, first of all, have a conversation because there's likely, like, I don't know. Only, <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain. Like, have a conversation because you'll know. Like, I talk to multiple coaches and, like, you know what the right fit is. But I think that one of the things that I love about Elaine is that she genuinely, like, cares and knows what's going on with all of her clients and like people who aren't her clients um, <laughs> and <laughs> obviously stays in touch with clients because um, I was in the master class last night and like there were other like people who I knew are not clients anymore but former clients that she stays in touch with and cares about um, it's not just uh, like I don't know how to like it's not just a paycheck like Elaine actually really truly cares about us and really like makes a difference and um I mean she sent me text messages when she knows things are going on in my life or like what's going on or when I was <laughs> sick a couple weeks ago and she's like go to bed get off, get off. <laughs> I was like on a live thing and she's like stop being on the like in the middle of her live like cared because she remembered that I was sick so um I don't know I think it's that's important and having a coach that you really can connect with and know like 
you know, where you're going and push you. That's, that's another thing. Like, it's not like Elaine's telling me what to do day to day, but it's like no. the pushing of like, yeah, never. Like she doesn't actually do that, <laughs> but it's the pushing of like, ask, like I, the only way I can think of it is like probing questions of like, but is that really like, do you really want to do that? But it's not in those words. It's, it's always like way more eloquent than that. Um, broken white girl, I guess. So um, <laughs> don't know. <laughs> um, but I definitely think it's uh, worth a phone call. And I think Elaine's amazing. Obviously, I've been here for nine months, so I couldn't recommend her more. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. So for everybody, if you don't know yet, doors closed Sunday, yeah. March 3rd. Um, for my new mindset business accelerator program and actually because you've been in in a program similar to this Diana yeah. can you explain why mindset's actually important because oh. golden shiny object right people think it's a right. beautiful website and click funnel but how do you think help when I coach you through the mindset in the beginning with the confidence has helped you launch to where you're at now Right. It's, it's made me like, it's kind of funny because we were having a conversation. We were in our call last week and I said something and Elaine was like, Diana, nine months ago would have never said that. Um, <laughs> and it's, it's really kind of that idea of, I don't have a website for my marketing business. Like I'm a marketing consultant and I don't have a website for my marketing business and that's okay. Like I'm okay with that now. Um, and a lot of that is because I'm in the right mindset of, I know what I'm doing. I have my goals and knowing like keeping it all together is what's really important and i really think that um having a good I don't know, mindset is, is the right way to go and a lot of times it's when you're an entrepreneur and you're working on your own and you're going in a hundred different directions having that kind of focus and goal is is really helpful absolutely well this was so wonderful to catch up so everybody i will put the link below if you want to sign up for the program and also just like what diana said have a conversation yeah and diana knows this because like i was saying i still talk to my old clients if it's not a good fit i'll refer you to other people or resources because it's like dating you know we need to make sure we're a good fit yeah and for some reason diana and i are still a good fit i'm kidding love you <laughs> <laughs> all right bye everyone bye